This beat cockin' and velvet, the drama really means nothing to me I ride by and blow your brains out It's no time to cock it, no way to stop it when it Cock sucker, this shit rap, check my rap sheet I feed you to the rats with peanut butter on your feet 44 Bulldog, get money What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest force of sports. Welcome to the fire range. When you get in line, and you get lined up. You understand me? Today's victim, my next target, is Dak Bortles. Oh, yeah, he got to get it, too. The easiest target. You see, here's the thing, Dak. I'm going to show you why you shouldn't come out and tell people your weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? Because there's always going to be some fucked up person like me who's going to clown you for it. You know what I'm saying? If you thought Skip Bayless was bad, you stick around for like the next nine minutes and you tell me who's really the most fucked up person in sports talk. You know what gets me the most about you, Dak? You know what gets me the most about Dak? You got a lot of nerve to ask for Patrick Mahomes money and you ain't won no MVP. Dak, you got a lot of nerve. To ask for Patrick Mahomes money when you couldn't even beat that sorry ass Eagle team that had practice squad wide receivers on it. Or oh, what was wrong, Dak? Your shoulder was hurt? Is that why you missed Tavon Olsen for a wide open touchdown? Is that why? You know what's so sad, Dak? Dak, what's so sad about the situation is allegedly your shoulder was hurt, but 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 maybe God came down from the heavens and gave you a healing pill because you aired out the Redskins by like 30 points the next week. Where was that energy the week before versus you know who, Carson Wentz? Aren't you the same guy, Dak, who fell flat on his face when Zeke went out for six games? Ain't that why y'all missed the playoffs two years ago? Ain't you the same person, Dak, that wanted more money than Jared Goff, but got his brains blown all over the field in LA when he played Jared Goff in a playoff game? Yeah, remember when Dak was overthrowing slants and shit like that? He looked like he was sweating like a slave inside that helmet. The pressure got to him. You know what I'm saying? Ain't Dak the same quarterback that went against Colin Kaepernick four years ago? Oh, what you thought I forgot, Dak? Mr. I'm going to stand for the anthem. Mr. I'm not going to disrespect the flag. Yeah, Uncle Tom ass nigga. What you thought I forgot about that shit, you little light-skinned, waffle-colored Negro? What you thought I fucking forgot about that when you went against Colin Kaepernick four years ago and you chose to side with Jerry Jones, Dak? You thought I fucking forgot? And where did that get you? You sold out your people. You Uncle Tom's your way into nothing because Jerry Jones still ain't played, paid your fucking ass. You kissed that man ass, you bent the knee, and he spit on you and turned his fucking face. You kissed that man ass for nothing. You turned your back on the black community and he shitted all over you, Dak. How does it feel to have egg on your face, nigga? How that shit feel? This motherfucker Dak, Colin Kaepernick out here taking a knee, having a peaceful protest, and he's asking for people to help him. He's asking for people to join his fucking protest. And this dude Dak talk about some. we gonna stand for the flag out here in Dallas. We not gonna disrespect the flag. You stood with Jerry Jones like the Uncle Tom ass nigga that you fucking are, Dak. You showed your true colors. Ladies and gentlemen, when people tell you who you are, believe them. When people tell you who they are, when they show their face, when they reveal themselves, you believe them. You see, what separates me from everybody else is I told you from day one, I am the fucking bad guy. I'm the villain. I am. I'm the guy you root for to lose at the end of the movie. And I've never hid from that. I go out my way to remind y'all of that every chance that I get that I am the bad guy. When you shout Fisk unit, when you come to my channel and you support me, you're rooting for the villain. You're rooting for Thanos. You understand me? I don't hide from who I am, Dak, but you hide from who you are. When it's all said and done, Dak, karma's a bitch. It really is. Your sorry ass thought if you ponied up to the owner, you would get that bag, and you didn't. We laughing at you, homie. You like, you like my ancestors. You like the enemy of my ancestors. Or oh, what you thought, if you kissed Master Ass, you wasn't gonna have to pick that cotton, nigga? 
Nah, he sent your bitch ass back out to the field with us. You sold out your people. You sold out your homeboys who tried to escape in the middle of the night. You got them shot. You got them hung. For what? So massive can tap you on the ass, pat you on the shoulder, and give you an attaboy? And then send your punk ass out to the field? Or send your little hoe ass to the laundry room to wash his fucking drawers? You ain't shit, nigga. You sold out your people for fucking what? So you could play on a franchise tag? You stupid ass nigga. And then we'll make it so fucking bad, Dak. Then you come out and say, oh my gosh, I have mental health issues. I'm depressed. I feel sad. Newsflash, Dak. Nobody gives a fuck. You just turned down $36 million a year in a climate where people can't get jobs. People are begging the government for an extra $600 a week and you want to turn down $36 million a year and claim you depressed? Really? We got families out here dying from COVID. Carl Anthony Towns just lost his mother. We just lost Chad with Bozeman. People are going through shit and you want us to feel bad for you? Who just signed, oh my gosh, it's, I'm so disrespected, woe is me, have pity on me that I have to sign this franchise tag and play for $30 million, Dak, we don't want to fucking hear it, bro. If you were so depressed, Dak, why was you having fucking parties at your house during the pandemic? Oh, you were so depressed during the pandemic, but you were throwing house parties? And then you had the balls to say, I don't... Jerry Jones can't tell me what to do. Did y'all forget about the house parties he was throwing during the alleged pandemic that he was so depressed during? I feel bad for your brother, Dak. Rest in peace to your brother. I got news for you. That pain, that sorrow, that regret, that feeling that you could have done something else, that feeling that you wish that day could have went different is never going to go away. So you man up and fucking deal with it or you let it consume you and you go out like a bitch. The choice is yours. But at the end of the day, don't bring that drama to me because I don't give a fuck about you and I don't give a fuck about your problems. Fuck you, your problems and your fan base. You understand me? I make myself perfectly fucking clear. You look weak. At the end of the day, you can blame Big Fist, you can blame Skip Bayless, but when your little light-skinned ass miss the playoffs and you go on Twitter, they're gonna fucking tell you to kill yourself. They're gonna tell you you're not strong enough to play this position. They're gonna tell you you're not mentally capable of handling the pressure of being a Dallas Cowboy quarterback. What did they just do to playoff P? Remember him? They nicknamed him Pandemic P. Paul George came out on Twitter and said, I'm having a mental breakdown. I'm not in a good mental space. They laughed at that nigga, told on the sign on Twitter and hit a jump shot. Dak, you exposed yourself. You never exposed your weakness. You just told the whole world what your weakness is. So let's add it up, Dak. You're an average quarterback who ain't one shit. You sold out your own people so you can kiss the white man ass. And then you came out and said I'm mentally weak and have mental health issues. Dak, you a three times loser. Three strikes, you're out. Go to the bench. Good luck. You want to get paid, Dak? You had all that money on the table. All you had to do was make the playoffs. Jerry Jones would have to cut you the biggest check in the world. And you crumbled under the pressure. How many one possession games did you lose last season, Dak, with all that money on the line? New Orleans, the Jets, the Patriots, the Cowboys. The list goes on and on. You had plenty of opportunities to secure the bag, Dak, and you fumbled it. You fumbled the money. Your whole life was on the line. Life-changing money, generational wealth was on the line. And all oh, my shoulder hurts. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You ain't shit. And fuck your fan base, too. They mad at me for saying this shit, but I bet you half the motherfuckers that listen to this video, they're going to look at you differently. This motherfucker got more commercials than Patrick Mahomes, but he crying broke. Miss me with this shit, man. Hey, Dak, come to the front. Put a smile on your face. Turn around and take these shots.
Ha, 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 ha.